Well, this is roadside marker. This is great seal of the state of Nevada. Great seal of the state of Nevada. And uh, Fairview, 1905-1917, part of a renewed interest in mining. Strikes in Tonopah and Goldfield, blah blah blah, 3.8 million dollars. I don't know where the mines would be out there, but now it's a low level flying area for the military. And there's a sign over there that says warning or something restricted area. And there were signs along the road coming up here. It says watch out low flying aircraft. Probably fly down in that valley there because there's a restricted area that just overlaps the road for a few miles here. All right, we're going to be out of that. Well, this is another highway marker right next to a road construction yard. And uh, this one's got somewhat in the shade. It says, Wonder, uh, a major mining center, the early years of the 20th century, uh, April 1906. Wonder Mining District was organized. The boom was from 1906 to 1915. Some of the letters are, the colors gone on some of the letters there. Stores and saloons, uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, anyhow, I don't think there's anything up there. And there's a big sign here that says, warning, loose gravel ahead. So we're not gonna go up there because I couldn't find anything on the map that says there's anything there. Oh, here we got another marker for Rock Creek, actually Cold Spring Station. And on the other side of the road, there might be another marker over there or a trail, but I'll look on the map and see. But uh, Stagecoach Stop on the Overland Mail and Stage Company's historic line. Pony Express constructed Cold Springs in 1860. Uh, to the north are the ruins of a telegraph repeater and maintenance station. Well, we'll see if we can go on the other side of the road and see there, but here it is, right here. All right. Well, I was just on the other side of the road to that marker. Now I'm on this side, and they got some signs here. So I'll talk about the Pony Express. April 60, 61, I guess. Didn't last very long, it seems like here. I thought Pony Express went on for years and years. Uh, communications from east to west across 2,000 miles in only 10 days. That, that's pretty good back in those days. Yeah, let's see what this side says. Ah, here's a map. Uh, it's, oh, that's the Pony Express route from Sacramento. You see my shadow there, sorry. And it says we are here, so we are at Cold Springs, and today I'm driving to Eureka, which is, I don't know, I don't see Eureka on here. Well, maybe, because that goes up to Wyoming. I'm only going over over to this area here, and then going back down to Vegas, so. That's something else. But that was pretty good. From Sacramento to St. Joseph, Missouri. Man, 10 days. How'd they do it back then? Lonely Vigil Express. Man, what is this building? Is this just to house it? It's good to have a little bit of shade here, so protect some of these signs so you can still read them. Ah, here we go. Cold Springs today. Ah, it's just like some of the other ruins I was at at the other station here. So kind of very similar. And there's the guy, so almost the same picture. You got the fireplace, you got a pup in there too. So uh, well, they had gun ports too. So maybe there were Indians out then, Native Americans, sorry. And uh, all right. well, another roadside marker. Looks like Edwards, Creek Valley, a lot of the letters are worn off. Abundant grain and brush found in the written streams were important for Native Americans, Shoshone Indians, something. Uh, I'll have to sort this out. 
on the computer back home to get a good reading on it. Uh, Pony Express, blah, 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 blah. But here we are, all out here, middle of nowhere. I might get the drone up. All right, well, another historical marker, Jacobsville, one half mile north for Sheriff, uh, Pony Express stop, there you go. I, just down the road, down that way, there was another sign that said Pony Express Trail, but it was just desert, so can't really see the trail there. Uh, Lander County, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we had a little parking spot, paved, so you would think there'd be lots of people here. We'll try to fly the drone again, but, oh, look at those peaks out there, all the snow on them, yeah. But I'm getting the gimbal overloaded. I got must have got dust in the mechanism. It's very fragile. And uh, maybe if I get it up in the air and just not try to move the gimbal up and down. I'll try it again. We'll see. Well, I'm not even getting out of the car for this one. It says lady on a horse. It doesn't look like a lady. It looks like a guy to me. But it's supposed to be something about the lady on a horse. It looks like a Pony Express rider, that's for sure. But I'll have to look this up later and see. But no other signs or markers here, so okay.